We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. and, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the box department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Hey, you idiot. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball some. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot one. Hot. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth. What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go bingo, bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Down with that tackle. First and four. It's about a three yard pickup. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, 
Looks like the defense. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Hey, man. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn on the Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. One. Three. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps, and I'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. One. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two. gets another pick. Man, rough. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be... Th Team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys. Get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. Hot 
One, hot two. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Why didn't the skeleton dance at the rock club, Brim? Uh, I don't know. He had no body to dance with. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Well, good heads up play there, getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. Second down and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. Four. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions. Than and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. QB says, I don't... Ouch! What is this? Ain't he's wrestling? Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, three. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. 
He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down in a very lot. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutal. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And at the finish. Ooh, that, oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. The QB launches a rocket deep and like brick. 
breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First down and three. For six, touchdown, touchdown. comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know what? I was little. My dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Second down and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Third down and five. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Football, he gets away in a hurry. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. his way out of that tackle. And he's on. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And it's first and ten. And not the worst feet dirty brick. And that's another turnover for him. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Yes. 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. player who goes down fighting he could go all the and yeah, never mind and it's first and ten Takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. He's got a receiver breaking open. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! He broke free and has open field in front of him. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a sawbuck right on this asshole. The kicker died on that play. That's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and nine. At this run, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. No, oh, with the brain scrambler. And 
And it's first and ten. And now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He's at the 40. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. And it's first and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden the ex murderer Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zapter, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Second down and long. Nice hit. Third down and six. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. And he's going to work a dirty trick. But straight through the uprights. Hey, go Granger. Man, I can't. Jim on us. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Crusher right there, folks. Uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him. Oh, no, that wasn't.
was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I, I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Man, humans are the best dancers. I wish I could move like that, man. Yeah, I wish you could just move. Your mom's attic smells like vodka and despair. Hey. Why do you always got to go there? Why, Junior? I'm a white bloomer. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Stop him, that's two points. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. That's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the worms go to the bathroom, Grim, or did they just grab back your neck? First and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Graham? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. They're going for two points. Well, that two-point conversion attempt failed miserably. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. They want more points, so they're going for two. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And one saver there. The offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When the team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. First and ten. Oh, I'm going to get to the 
household. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have... Oh, what the brutal hit! And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Hey, yeah, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. I won't even get out of Second down, the side. defense had enough with this rep and jumps offside to kill him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light. It wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> And 
And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Man, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that is caught for a first down. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Boom! <laughs> the offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the volume before this one ends. Hey. Y'all been out on me. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. G5 fo fum. Stomp him into the ground, the dirty bum. Second down in a very lot. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. sitting on a bag of potato chips. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Yeah. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, great tackle. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The offense is running low on receivers. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more.
First down and seven. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more reception. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Uh, 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 Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. and stumbling he could go oh, oh man bricks you gotta love a player who goes down fighting oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl the burn returner was killed on that play the coach will replace him with another player And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The Malice Hellboys are sent straight back to hell and lose by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every...